Welcome to Weld.com. I had a customer that wanted me to, I guess he just felt like I needed to be challenged and wanted me to do a, a two inch heavy wall 6G root. Um, been done a lot. It's, it's a, anything 6G, once you get doing a couple of them, it's kind of a comfort zone. I normally do not work off the table like this. I work out in the open. Um, off of a table in a fixture at 45. I've gone ahead and tacked this at 45. So I've got my fit. I already have my three tacks that I like to put in here. I put one at 12 o'clock, one at 10 o'clock, one at two o'clock. A lot of times I will grind these out. Most of the time I have done a lot of these even on 100% x-ray work where you can just kind of wash through them. If you watch carefully, um, I'll pick that up later. Um, <laughs> if you watch carefully, you can kind of watch these kind of disappear and fuse in. And if you suspect that it's not fused in, you can always stop, grind it out, feather it, restart and make sure. Um, before I close one of these up, I usually grab a flashlight and look around. I'm especially looking everything on the bottom. We're progressing from bottom up. If I have anything wrong down here, I, I stop. I don't wait until I finish the whole weld, try to go back and repair it. So uh, my normal fit on this, on anything 6G or any piping, I, I like a pretty good wide gap. I close this up a little bit because I've had some comment about feeding the wire from the inside. Apparently some of you don't like that. Uh, so I'm gonna try to feed this mostly from the outside. And again, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable, but I'm gonna be up in here and I'm gonna try to keep this even with the, uh, with the root beveled edges here. Again, I don't like doing it. I like to slip the wire completely through the inside of the pipe and weld it so I can see it. So, you know, let's, uh, let's do this weld for the customer that wants to see the two inch heavy wall. Let me get my gear on. We'll come back and attempt this. I've seen a lot of comment and a lot of I don't know, I call them keyboard inspectors that think that they, there's only one way to do this and that's with no root face and they say you absolutely have to have uh, feathered edges on anything piping with TIG. Uh, you might as well save your breath because <clears throat> there's all kinds of different ways to get an acceptable root in a piece of pipe with or without a root face. Okay. If your company says that you need to weld them all without a root face and that's what your procedure is, fine. But, but don't tell the world that that's the only way to do it because, sorry, but you're wrong. You can do multiple welds here and put them on x-ray. We can do welds with feathered edges. We can do welds with a root face. Okay. You can't tell me that you can tell the difference of, of a clean x-ray weld that has root face on it and one that doesn't. Okay, you can't tell me the difference on a, on a bin test either. It can't be done, you know? I, email me personally, but tell me how you tell the difference of a clean weld on either one of those. I, I just don't see what the big deal is of putting a 1 16th face on there. The reason I do it is to control the inside fusion and I like to weld fast. Feathered edges slows me down a little bit. Now, if you can fly through them, you know, again, I told you my personal preference is to feed the wire from the inside. I think you may have noticed I dipped my tungsten a couple times there. Let me stop and get a fresh bullet. Had another dip over here, a couple dips over here, but things stayed clean. They didn't uh, contaminate the tungsten, so I'm, I stayed with it. Uh, give me a sec, I need to towel off and uh, 
I want to uh, change cup sizes. I'll run a little bit of a fill pass on this side. Give me just a second. I went ahead and <clears throat> I went ahead and cut this. Um, again, we had it tacked up here in the 6G. It's two inch heavy wall. I think you can see the the uh, wall thickness here. Um, I've got reinforcement. I'm broken down everywhere. I mean, it's fused on the inside. I do have a little variation. Most of it's most of it does have reinforcement. What happened was uh, I have one spot up here and I believe it was up here about 11 o'clock where I was fused into the to my closure weld up here and I didn't quite hit that you know that's cool I would have I would have um, taken a little more care I could easily hit that with a die grinder thin it out a little bit and wash back through it and add some filler wire actually I go to the next size filler wire smaller I was running uh, probably about a 3.30 second gap with a 1 16th root face, a 1 8th wire. I like to run the heavier wires on the, on the um, heavy wall, even the 2 inch pipe. The, the standard wall thicknesses and the small diameters, I like to run that like the 332. I don't like to put quite as much gap in there because they're just so heat sensitive. And I went ahead and ran uh, one side of a, a fill pass, just a, a 6G fill pass up here with the eighth inch wire. So for the gentleman that uh, came in and asked for this demonstration, we appreciate your positive comments. It was a kind of a test for me. Again, I like to put a tack at 12 o'clock, two o'clock and 10 o'clock and leave the bottom open. I tend to weld the bottom of one side about a third of the way, switch hands, come up the other way real quick. Uh, finish one side, look at it on the inside, make sure everything is good, and then close it up. I believe there's a lot of guys that will attest to that. I believe we've given a shout out to uh, Alex Brown and a number of people that do some fantastic TIG work. So, so we're you know we're trying to promote the science and art, and we don't we don't know everything. You know, the, I, I, we appreciate the comments because we're going wow, let's let's cool, let's try that. You know, let's do it. Some of it we've done before, a lot of it we've done before, and we're not absolute experts at everything, but um, you know, that's what we do. We train and we learn every day, so try to keep those positive, positive thoughts and comments coming. Uh, I'm, Weld, I'm, I'm Bob Moffat with Weld.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. Thank you.